This is Moses. He's a peregrine falcon and an expert flyer. The challenge for scientists today is to take all the stuff that Moses already knows and apply it to the field of robotics. Biomimicry is the process of solving complex human problems by taking inspiration from nature. Through evolution, nature has already solved many of these problems with incredible efficiency. So by copying biology, we can take advantage of the engineering which has already taken place over millions of years of trial and error through natural selection. Earlier, we met Moses, who's been helping out a group of biomimicry researchers at the University of Bristol. But what can a peregrine falcon teach us about flight? The project we're doing here is looking at quantifying the stability of a bird in flight. So trying to understand whether they're stable, which means they're flying along and they get hit by a gust of wind and they don't have to do anything and they'll kind of come back to nice and level or whether they're unstable and they'll get hit by a gust of wind and they need to do a whole lot of corrective motions to stabilise themselves. So when we design something like a passenger jet, like a 747, we make them stable. But the most modern jet fighters nowadays are actually designed to be unstable and they have to have incredibly fast uh, computer controlled control systems which do tiny little corrective motions to, to keep them uh, in the air and, and controllable. Whereas a bird can move its wing geometry completely and it can change from a nice stable configuration to a highly unstable one. So we're looking at where birds choose to position themselves on that stable, unstable kind of spectrum. So today we've been flying a peregrine falcon. Uh, he's actually been taking off from that hill over there and then flying past our array of cameras here. And they're all focused in on one single point in space. As the birds fly through that volume, we trigger the cameras. So we get eight different views from eight different angles. And with those eight different camera views, we can get a 3D computer model of exactly the bird's wing shape as it was flying. So one of the other things we're looking at is how we might be able to use wing morphing on autonomous flying vehicles to be able to do the same sort of things we see the birds doing. So completely changing their flight dynamics by morphing their wings. Like we saw today, actually, uh, when they're coming in to hit the lure, he's actually sliding down a lot and doing this dynamic braking motion. And we'd love to be able to do the same thing with our aerial vehicles as well, uh, kind of in the future, for having them coming in and perching and coming to a stop. That's kind of where we'd really like to take this research, is using it to inspire the design of morphing wing autonomous vehicles.